We are at home and social with a dynamic, uh, not duo, but trio. Today joining me, I've got Alesso, Marshmallow, and James Bay. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I gotta tell you, if, if I wasn't a married lady, I'd be like, this is like the ultimate dating game. Bachelor number one. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's dive in deep right now. Uh, the new single is called Chasing Stars. Before we even talk about the awesomeness of the music and the sound, I want to go into the music video because I love the throwback with all the VHS tapes, you guys. We uh, we love we love the VHS. We all remember. We all got little memories of that VHS, that time, maybe a little sort of visit to Blockbuster Video or something like that. Couldn't, Blockbuster. couldn't help it. Could not help it. Had to, had to do it. I mean, but but tr truly, do you did you really ever play movies on a VHS, or were you guys DVD guys? I was more DVD in truth, but like I got my memories of, of picking up some some like VHS from uh, from Blockbuster. Those were, those were good memories, but I remember all the VHS would start to disappear, and all the shelves had DVDs. Yeah, exactly. It would be like older movies. It would be like Goldie Hawn and Overboard. And you're like, ooh, VHS guys. Yeah. Completely. So when you're watching this video, what, what's cool is when you do look at these the spines of the vhs tapes um there's little easter eggs you see each other's names on there is there anything else we should be doing like a little i spy game with in this video that people may not catch on to at first glance i guess i mean one of the sort of more emotional little details throughout relates to what i'm looking at so often on the tvs in the video store and then what like comes onto the full screen of the video later i'm like and this is where the video ties into what the song is about. I'm I'm watching back footage uh, of the one who got away, and that's like what the song's about as well. So these are all like sweet little memories on the spines of all the VHS boxes um, of times that we had together that we don't have anymore. So let's talk about the one that got away, you guys. Show of hands, do you all have someone in your memory bank of the one that got away? Everybody does. Everybody does. It's painful. And, and when you have songs that kind of dive into that memory bank, but then uh, the tune is so uplifting and the sentiment feels good, uh, it takes you to a great place. So tell me about the process of having such an uplifting song uh, while there's heartbreak involved. I'm going to hand this over real quick. I don't want to just be the only dude covering. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, me and uh, Marshmallow, uh, we're obviously... Uh, very passionate about the song and trying to come up with uh, a structure for it that kind of starts as a ballad and then goes into a very big sing-along that goes into a drop and as producer uh, marshmallow mentioned the other day you know we're always trying to achieve that uh, climax with our drops and and not ruin the song at the same time uh, so that was quite tricky, but I feel like, you know, everything came together quite nicely and uh, together with uh, James' amazing guitars and the melodies, it, it's just a world of happiness with kind of sad lyrics. So it's, 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 it's a lot, but at the same time, it makes sense and becomes this uh, great song that we all love. 